know. When the, I'll make an announcement. Please rise for the presentation of colors by the Bluffton High School JROTC Color Guard and the playing of the national anthem by guitarist Joshua Woody. Thank you. You may be seated. We now welcome to the stage Mariana Rivera for the invocation. Good evening, and welcome to this special night for Bucan Nation. My name is Mariana Carolina Rivera Girardi, and I'm honored to be asked to lead us in prayer. Buenas tardes, y bienvenidos a esta ceremonia tan importante para la familia Bobcat. Mi nombre es Mariana Carolina Rivera Girardi, y me siento honrada por la propuesta de guiarlos en esta oración. Please rise and join me in giving thanks. Por favor, pónganse de pie y acompáñenme a dar las gracias. I will say this prayer in English and then in Spanish. Voy a decir esta oración en inglés y luego en español. Dear Lord, Creator of the universe, thank you for bringing us to this special occasion. Thank you for allowing us to enjoy this important moment with our families, friends, faculty and staff, and those who have been here through our journey, supporting us without judging us. Dear Lord, we thank you for so many things. You are so gracious providing us with safety health, or home, food on our tables, water, electricity, and most importantly, family and people to support and love us. 
We thank you for all your support in helping us to achieve our goals and dreams. Lord, we pray you provide the same blessings and opportunities to everyone around the world. And Lord, please keep us mindful of how fortunate we are and never let us take it for granted. Lord, as we head are here tonight to celebrate this graduation ceremony, we thank you for all the experiences we have lived and for the lessons we have learned. We thank you for helping us accomplish our goals and bring us to this special evening or graduation. Please be with us all tonight as we leave this place for the last time as the students of Bluffton High School. Be with us all as we begin the next chapter of your life and continue to bless us today, tomorrow, and always. In your holy name, amen. Querido Dios, creador del universo, gracias por reunirnos en esta ocasión especial y por permitirnos disfrutar de este momento tan importante con nuestros familiares, amigos, miembros de la facultad de Bluffton High School y aquellos que han estado aquí a lo largo de nuestra trayectoria apoyándonos sin juzgarnos. Querido Dios, te damos gracias por muchas cosas. Eres tan misericordioso por brindarnos seguridad, salud, un hogar, comida en nuestras mesas, agua, electricidad y lo más importante, familia y personas que siempre nos aman y nos apoyan. Te agradecemos por guiarnos y ayudarnos a alcanzar nuestras metas y sueños. Señor, te rogamos que le brindes esta oportunidad a todas las personas en el mundo y que nos mantengas conscientes de lo afortunado que somos y nunca lo dejes por sentado. Señor, nos reunimos aquí en esta noche para celebrar esta gran ceremonia. Te agradecemos por todas las experiencias que hemos vivido y por todas las lecciones que hemos aprendido. Te agradecemos por ayudarnos a lograr nuestras metas y traernos a esta noche inolvidable, nuestra graduación. Acompáñanos esta noche cuando dejemos este lugar, por última vez como estudiantes de Bluffton High School, y acompáñanos en esta nueva etapa de nuestras vidas. Bendícenos con alegría y gratitud, hoy, mañana y siempre. En tu nombre, Señor. Amén. Thank you. You may be seated. Please welcome Faith Paxton with the welcome speech. Thank you, Mr. Seelman. Good evening. Tonight I want to offer a special welcome to you all. First to our attending dignitaries, Superintendent Dr. Frank Rodriguez, Chief Administrative Human Resource Services Officer, Ms. Alice Walton, Chief Financial Officer, Ms. Tanya Crosby, Chief Instructional Services Officer, Dr. Mary Stroudis, Chief Operations Officer, Mr. Robert Alding, Student Services Officer, Dr. Juliet White, Executive Director of Secondary Education, Dr. Chad Cox, Communications Officer, Dr. Candice Bruder, Chief Legal Officer, Ms. Wendy Cartledge. Also welcome Principal Denise Donica, Mayor of Bluffton, Lisa Solka, Town Councilwoman, Bridget Frazier, and Director of Beaufort Jasper Academy for Career Excellence, Michael Lavecchia. We are all so grateful to the, members, to the many members of our school board who are also in attendance. Chairman Dr. Christina Guatz, Vice Chairman Richard Geyer, Secretary Angela Middleton, as well as members Ingrid Boatwright, Earl Campbell, Carlton Dallas, Chloe Gordon, Victor Ney, and William Smith. And of course, welcome to all of our teachers, administrators, coaches, family, friends, and most importantly, the guest of honor, the all accomplishing students of the class of 2023. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Faith Paxton, your 2022-2023 student body president. 
I have had the privilege of serving as your class president since freshman year. I would be lying to say that this speech has not been on my mind for about four years now. I knew after joining student council my freshman year that the possibility I could be giving this speech in front of my classmates today was very real. You would think with four years of practice to prepare, I would know the perfect things to say. However, that is far from the truth. There are so many things I want to say, important words or ideas I want to leave you with, but there is simply not enough time to express all I want to share. So let me start by expressing how truly proud of this class I am. I take great pride in the fact that I get to call each and every one of you not only classmates, but in so many cases friends and even chosen family. I may be biased, but I truly believe this class is one of the most special classes to graduate from Bluffton High. We have incredible scholars, musicians, dancers, artists, athletes, and so much more. It has been an absolutely remarkable to see all of us grow from crazy middle schoolers into amazing young adults who are now standing at the start of a new adventure, creating goals and making plans for the future. I think I can speak for everyone when I say high school years are unique and that they teach you countless life lessons day in and day out. You live and you learn is truly not just a saying, it has been the absolute truth over these past four years. What seems to be the most important life lesson we learn one day is quickly trumped by something far more important only a few days later. That's the cool part. You know, something that seems like the most important thing in the world one day becomes so minuscule compared to the next challenge and inevitably the next lesson. However, if you're like me, there is one lesson that stands out to you. For me, the important lesson of valuing time began to really hit me this school year as I realized just how quickly our time at high school, at home, with these friends was drawing to a close. I began looking back on every little memory and moment of my life so far, wishing I just had five more minutes. Yes, I looked around this year, enjoying the present moments and bonds with special people. I realized that while these will continue into our next chapters and far outside the walls of this high school, it will never quite be the same. No one can really understand or explain why some days go by in the blink of an eye and some days feel like they're never going to end. Why does, take, why does talking with a certain person for hours feels like only minutes, but listening to a 30 minute lecture in class feels like hours? But without fail, the same 24 hours will go by like clockwork and the new day will start and all is well. But reality hits when you come to realize this so-called new day is never guaranteed. We must appreciate and take advantage of each day. So I stand here today telling you your time is of so much value. Your choices are so important. Every choice you make on who and what you spend your time on is significant. Make sure that within those choices, you choose to find yourself. You choose to make you happy. You choose to fight when necessary. You choose to fall back when necessary. You choose to love. Love what you're doing, love who you're becoming, but most importantly, make sure to take the time to tell all the people around you and supporting you, whether they are physically sitting here or whether they are looking down on you every step of the way today, how grateful you are and how much love you have for them. To my classmates, I've learned to love every single memory I've made with each and every one of you. And I wanna tell you how grateful I am for the experiments. experience. I want to leave you with a quote from one of the most influential people in my life, Coach Caitlin. I do not even know if she remembers saying this, but it has stuck with me from the moment it was said. She looked at me when I was about to walk on the court in my first game freshman year, when every nerve, fear, and butterfly you can imagine was coursing through me with the biggest, most genuine smile and simply said, welcome to the game, freshman. Class of 2023, let me be the first to tell you, welcome to the game. Welcome to your next chapter. Welcome to the next phase in life. Approach it with a Coach Caitlin smile and the mindset to value every second God blesses you with. And I can almost promise you will accomplish more than you could ever imagine. I am so excited to see what your futures hold. Once again, congratulations. We now welcome Beaufort County School Board Chairman, Dr. Christina Guatz for the opening remarks. Thank you. Good evening to Superintendent Rodriguez, Principal Donica, Bluffton High School Class of 2023, your families and friends, distinguished faculty and district staff, and our dignitaries in attendance. Tonight we are all here to honor and celebrate the graduating class as you receive your diplomas. This is a wonderful culmination to your 13 years of schooling. Earning a high school diploma is a worthy achievement. It requires study, discipline, and hard work, all important life skills for whatever career you choose. 
Many of you have received your entire kindergarten through 12th grade education in the Beaufort County Public Schools. I hope we have prepared you well so you can tackle the challenges you will surely face as you live your life. Remain intellectually curious and never stop learning. The Beaufort County School District and Board of Education are so proud of the class of 2023 and your accomplishments. Go out into the world with enthusiasm and courage. Share your knowledge and talents and always remember to be gracious and grateful. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Guatz. We now welcome Jason Nee with a salutatory address. All right. Good evening. My name is Jason Nee and I'm the salutatorian for the class of 2023. Let me first congratulate my fellow graduates and their families for achieving this milestone in our lives. Next, I wanna thank my family for not only being here today, but also for being here for my entire life. I'm here today because of you, so thank you. Furthermore, I wanna thank the amazing staff and members of Bluffton High School. They are absolutely the best and to demonstrate why it is better to be a Bobcat. They have helped make our high school experience excellent, just like our school, the only excellent high school in the district. Please give them a round of applause. Now, I have many ideas as to what I want to talk about today. I could have talked about Harry Potter, though I am sure you guys don't want to hear about that. I also could have had AI on my speech for me, but that wouldn't be me. I want to talk about something that fits who I am. So today, I'll talk about physics. One of the first things we learned from Dr. Sandusky in physics class was Newton's third law. This law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Meaning, if you punch the wall with your fist, the wall will punch your fist back. Hence the reason why your hands hurt after finding out the Lakers will sweat 4-0. This law fascinates me since it does not just apply to the world of physics, but it also describes life. Every action that you take in life has a reaction. If you commit a crime, you will be punished for it. If you decide to put off writing your speech until the day before it is due, you will be sleep deprived the next morning. But this law does not always have to result in a negative effect. If you actually study for a test, your grade will show it. However, there is a major difference between life and that law of physics. In physics, you know that every reaction will be equal to the action. That's not how it works in life. With each action you take, you may not know the reaction until after the fact. For example, when you ask the person in your class to prom, you may have just made the next three months of that class awkward, or you may end up with someone who is very important in your life. Another aspect of physics is that the location of an electron in an atom is uncertain. Likewise, the path you take in life may be uncertain. Sometimes you'll find yourself in a place or situation you may not want to be. I have recently experienced this myself. For me, this occurred this semester. I was rejected from my dream school, MIT. But hey, so was Peter Parker. <laughs> now I'm going to Clemson with many of my friends and fellow Bobcats, which will make the transition easier and help me get connected to home. As an added bonus, I'll be saving a lot of money, so I won't be paying college loans until I'm 40 years old. Yes, this rejection was difficult, but we all face hardships in life. Sure, these hardships may result with you not ending up where you want to be, but that's okay. All things work out for a purpose. While not physics, one of the most important lessons I learned from Ms. Reichert's AP research class was that getting results is good, but the process is even more important. 
To me, the most important part of life is not about going to a prestigious college, though I would love to be able to do that. Rather, it is about being able to tell people that I did everything I could to make my dreams into a reality. So, with a nod to my AP Lane teacher, Dr. Womble, and her contagious love of Twain, Mark Twain said it best when he said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So yes, giving it my all now is important. That way, in 20 or 30 years, when I am old and gray, and I look back on my life, I will have no regrets. Class of 2023, I leave you with this message. Go out into the world giving it everything you've got. Give your 100% so that when you take time to reflect, your tears are not falling because of sadness or regret, but because of happiness, nostalgia, and pride. Do everything you can so that in the future, we can all say life is good. Again, congratulations, Class of 2023. Thank you. Please welcome Ms. Avery Chen with a valedictory address. Before I begin, please indulge me as I wish our salutatorian Jason Nee a happy birthday. So happy birthday. Good afternoon, honored guests, parents, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Avery Chen, and I'm your senior class valedictorian. Welcome to Bluffton High, the School of Excellence. About four years ago, I stood before many of you at our eighth grade graduation, just right across the field at H. McCracken. For some reason, that feels like a decade ago. Then, I stood in front of you as your student body president, Today, I stand in front of you as your 2023 valedictorian. I'm honored to have been given this opportunity to speak to you all again and to congratulate each and every one of you on all of your accomplishments. Before I lecture you about the upcoming future, which I know you all are dreading, both my lecture and the future, that is, I would first like to thank everybody who made this day possible and supported our graduates up to this point. Thank you to all the families, friends, teachers, administrators, and staff who are here tonight. This could not have been possible without the help from all of you. So from all the graduates, a thank you. I personally have many people here tonight who have guided me on my path and supported me up to this point. So I'd like to thank my amazing counselor, Ms. Homan, who has always responded to my 1 a.m. emails. Um, 1 a.m. is just how late I'm willing to tell you all because my parents are in the auditorium tonight. <laughs> Speaking of them, to my amazing parents, Christy and Rick, yes, I called you by your first names, so don't kill me when we get home. <laughs> but in all seriousness, there are no words to describe how thankful I am to have you as my parents. You show me in action, words, and unwavering love what it means to truly live, so for that, I am forever grateful. To my amazing siblings, no matter how annoying you all can be, I know you'll always have my back and I'll have yours. I remember a discussion in Dr. Womble's AP language class where I was asked what I would do if someone were to mess with my siblings. For those who have siblings, you'll understand when I say my answer was borderline assault, so I won't repeat it word for word for you tonight. But no, Cameron and Ethan, I am here for you. Also to my, um, my other family members here, here tonight, especially my aunt, uncle, and my two little cousins, I know it's way past your bedtime, or it will be, so thank you regardless. Graduates, I've been trying to figure out what to say to you all. I've had many suggestions from friends, families, and teachers. I even did the reasonable thing and looked up past speeches. I thought about a bowling metaphor where one wins by mere points against their salutatorian, you know, one last time. However, I could not settle on what to say to you all. 
How do I say goodbye to people I've known almost all my life? And what message do I want to leave them with? That's not a rhetoric question. I seriously had no idea. But after some thought and 4 a.m. decisions, I think, I, I think I've come up with something appropriate for my character. This year, I was told not to allude to Harry Potter in my AP literature exam. So, but nobody told me I couldn't do it in my valedictorian speech. <laughs> Sorry, Ms. Subner. So, that in my, so keep that in mind. I do not believe we truly recognize the importance of words until we are older. So for those who haven't rewatched Harry Potter about a million times, such as yours truly, I would like to share some valuable words of advice. Gary Oldman as Sears Black warns, we've all got both light and darkness inside of us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That is who we truly are. In these upcoming years, we are going to come across difficult decisions to make. Whether it be personal choices in the face of peer pressure, career choices, or a million other things, decisions will have to be made. This, in part, is what defines you. So choose what is best for you. Our lovely headmaster, Dumbledore, advises, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one remembers only to turn on the light. Yes, we will have our ups and downs. We'll face rejection. We'll be told no a thousand times before he hearing a single yes. But in spite of it all, we'll find light at the end of the tunnel. We'll find something new and even better at the end of the day. So we must keep pushing forward and celebrate the small victories. Another bit of advice from Sears Black says, what's life without a little risk? Now, I'm not telling you to go out and be wild, but I am telling you to make that call to do things that you are too scared to do. Submit that job application, send that text, reach out to that long lost friend, ask that person out from class. What's holding you back? Fear of rejection, fear of inadequacy, just yourself? I don't think so. Take that risk. If you do, if you do not, you'll regret it later on. So let's go forth and once again remember Dumbledore's words. It is not to, to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Some of us are going to college. Some of us are entering the workforce. And some of us are serving our country. But no matter where we go or what we do after we leave here today, I need you all to remember to live in the moment. Experience every moment like it is your last. Do not get so caught up in the future or the past that you forget to live each day to the fullest. Live in the moment. And as Dr. Womble likes to remind me, carpe diem. When someone asks me if I am scared for the future, I would like to say, as a certain boy who lived with, uh, lived, said, you wish. However, that would not be true. To be honest, I am scared. But I'm also excited for this new chapter we are about to open, and I hope you are too. Now, as I conclude, I leave you with this. Make those choices that bring you happiness, even in the darkest of times. Be willing to take those risks to get ahead. Live each moment to the fullest and remember how to live. Congratulations, Bobcats, and thank you. We now welcome Ms. Laura Pumarejo for the introduction of the class of 2023. At this time, I ask our stage guests to prepare for the conferring of diplomas and graduates. If you could do me a favor and tuck your programs underneath your seat so they don't blow away.
Avery Camille Chen. Jason Nee. Lindsay Taylor Borja. Mackenzie Grace Morgan. Nathaniel Rios. Evan Leo Lassard. Hannah Kirsten Davis. Trisha Young. Grace Catherine Sharico. Faith Ann Paxton. Marilyn Esmeralda Alcantara. Malaysia Tarika Altacho. Angelis Joanna Altamirano. Jonathan Jafet Altamirano Bexton. Max Alvarez. Patrick Alvarez. Brian Anaya. Maverick Robert Anderson. Brian Andrew Andrade. Lavinia Cardoso Giandragi. Brittany Sadai Aquino. Christian Araujo. Jesus Alberto Avalos Rubio. Angelo David Avendaño Arriviaga. Adrian Avila Romero. Jessica Danielle Bader. Jolene Guadalupe Valderas. Jonathan Rodrigo Barahona Hernandez. Olivia Jane Barnett. Ethan Rene Barrera. Carol Barrientos. Jamie Abigail Bautista Serrano. Jose Angel Belman Cuevas. Valentina Beltran Mancilla. Andrea Catalina Boyd. Jamil Ali Bright. Jamila Alia Bright. Kevin Leonard Brown Jr. Timarion Dante Brown. Roderick Antonio Buxton Jr. Laura Nicole Cabrera Rodriguez. Eloterio Callejas. Amelia Nadia Camacho. Ashley Rosalba Campa. Alexander Cárdenas. Lucas Cardoso Cire. Félix Josué Castellanos Navarro. Héctor Miguel Castellón Mejía. Kaylee Naomi Castro. Caroline Teresa Calder. Nahuel Alejandro Chavez. Andrea Michelle Chavez Hernandez. Damani Ahmad Clark. 
Sophia Ray Claudio. Addison Damian Clint. Hunter Riley Kofal. Thomas Kempton Condam. Joseph Ryan Conti. Angel Corsa. Helen Margarita Costilla. Elizabeth Ann Court. Marlon Andre Creary. Grant Michaels Cricky. Ian Clark Cruikshank. John Arthur Davis III. Brian De Leon Garcia. Charles Joseph Deaton. William Brandon Deloya Jr. Aaron Diaz Perez. Tilden Rain Doherty. Olivia Christine DuPont. Sanaya Janine DuPont. Jennifer Duran Villegas. Natalie Marie Duran San Miguel. Robert Newell Eastland III. Abigail Olivia Emanuel. Alasia Montrella Irvin. Kayla DiMondrea Irvin. Ethan Jaciel Escamilla. Estrella Nicole Escandón Rodríguez. Magíver Nehemías Escobedo Martínez. José Isaac Esquivel. Angelina Nicole Facenda. Anastasia Marie Federinko. Trinity Ariel Fields. Robert Davis Fletcher. Ethan Lewis Foxwright. Emmy Frazier. Amanda Hope Frazier. Nadia Marie Frederick. Michael Elliot Fritz. Chloe Brianne Fry. Keegan Pierce Galloway. Sandy Michelle Garay. Ashley Garcia Calvo. Anthony Garcia Ramos. Saul Alexander Garcia Rosa. Andres Garcia Sanchez. Deontay Ramon Gathers. Jose Angel Gil Arcos. Caitlin Selena Gomez. Jennifer Mariana Gomez. Veronica Gomez Santos. Adrián Gomez Sena. Helen Saraí Gomez Espinal. Diana Valentina Gonzalez Gonzalez. Amaya Marie Gossett. 
Edwin Kyle Graham Jr. Joshua Jaheem Grant. Leah Michelle Gray. Sean Michael Griffin. Caroline Elizabeth Haynes. Tevon Terrell Hammond Jr. William Allen Hanley. Martin Lee Harbarger. Neve Javano Harris. Olivia Emma Harrison. Madison Ray Hebert. Savannah Rose Hebert. Trinity Grace Heckscher. Hadley Elizabeth Cantrell Hain. Maidel Hernandez. Saul Hernandez. Samantha Hayes Hester. Mateo Holzman. Christopher Ivan Hosho. Autumn Neve Housie. Derek Alexander Huerta. Zykeria Jean Hunt Hamilton. Kayla Jade Jackson. Lucy Morgan Jackson. Jacob Campbell James. Shanique Sabrina James. Ziola Eve Skull Javak. Jared Adair Jimenez. Julia John. William Fuller Johnson. Cooper Adams Jones. Chance Lee Kirby. Samantha Grayson Knight. Myron Matthew Craycar. Zoe Monique Krikelis. Vivian Linda Lalima. Alyssa Renee Lamontaine. Hannah Grace Lawson. Kaylee Michelle Leek. Yuriana Osfari Lechuga Carvajal. Madeline Sarah Lee. Justin Leha. Samuel Michael Liberatori. Adrian Lorraine Lighty. Jalen Jamari Linder. Amy Lopez. Yanixa Rosalia Lopez Castellanos. Andrea Carolina Lopez Huerta. Damian Gary Love. Rosario Montserrat Macias. Carla Elizabeth Macias Jimenez. Anaya Kiani Mallory. Reese Carter Marcott. Cameron Shane Martin. Cameron Scott Martinez Cooper. Trenton David Matuzak Hadin. Lenning Diblaim Mayorga Carranza. Colin Aiden McLean. Paul Andrew McWilliams. 
Isabella Catherine Miller. Corina Medina Giraldo. Dulce Areli Mendez. Laura Rivers Middleton. Jessica Jasmine Midense. Jocelyn Giselle Midense Olivera. Jocelyn Miranda. Emmett Leonard Mitchell Jr. Wyatt Ernest Matthew Mokel. Rashi Morris. Diego Andres Mujica Aguilera. Elmer Bennett Mullins III. Omar Asael Muro Garcia. Sergio Nicolás Nava Azogue. Sareta Taivania Nubi. Rachel Helen Nix. Daniel Nicholas Ray. Gabriel Nunez. Wada Andrea Ordonez Doria Medina. Ryan John Orford. Jan David Ortiz Gomez. Jalia Diogene Simone Osborne. Lenin Osornio. Vanessa Palacios. Damia Michaela Parker. John Michael Parker. Rocio Patino Perez. Todd Lorne Patton. Aiden Nicolas Pena. Aiden Cooper Penn. Scarlett Pamela Perez. Jordan Orlando Perez Bonilla. Con Peng. Sydney Helene Poliquin. Sofia Polet Ramirez Fernandez. Daniela Ramirez Hoyos. Justin Moises Ramos. Mia E. Carolina Ramos. Jose Antonio Ramos Hernandez. Iman Rashid. Parker Camille Ray. Matthew Christopher Reitz. Leonardo Alfonso Remolina. Mariana Carolina Rivera Girardi. Carla Rivera Martinez. Luke William Roberts. Benjamin Elias Rodriguez. Javier Alexander Rodriguez. Aaron Samir Rodriguez Nunez. Siobhan Kira Rogers. Luis Carlos Rojas Matkovich. Charles Joseph Rolf. Ian Wayne Roller. Fabiola Elizabeth Romero. Evelyn Roque. Alyssa Taylor Rose. Connor Thomas Ross. 
René Michelle Ruelas Rangel. Hannah Lay Joy Russell. Catherine Marie Ryan. Israel Salmeron. Leslie Sanchez. Vanessa Patricia Sanchez Figueredo. Ezekiel Shubay Sanchez Martinez. Megan Nicole Sandman. Evelyn Saraí Sandoval Cervantes. Ángeles Jasmine Santos Martinez. Anthony Santoyo Texta. Valeria Saravia Hernandez. Jones Danny Saylor. Brady Duncan Scott. Dora Nicole Scott. Zachary Thomas Seidner. Abigail Alize Shack. Olivia Lamate Desiree Shack Martinez. Caitlin Grace Shrewsbury. Alex Rodolfo Silva Duarte. Kaiki Lucas Silva Hocha. Kamari Darnell Simmons. Jacob Brighton Slater. Dylan James Spain. Tajna Tilla Stewart. Anaya Janelle Stokes. Natalie Michelle Swastegi Canuto. Oscar Paul Shapansky Castro. Tyler Lee Thompson. Brayden James Tote. Sophia Tollefson. Richelle Aurimar Tortolero. Gwendolyn Rose Townsend. Anthony Triana Aguilera. Christina Ann Trice. Catherine Ruth Trotter. Ashley Guadalupe Trujillo Mendoza. Nevaeh Joe Hope Tweeten. Andrew Emmanuel Velasquez. Brian Miguel Velasquez. Leonardo Villasana. Max Christopher Von Hohenstraten. Aiden William Wallace. Amore Alegria Wallace. Caroline Elizabeth White. Connor James Williams. Jaquin Rabion Savion Williams. Audrey Grace Wilson. Joshua Asher Woody. Brianna Janaya Wright. Gabrielle Grace Zapp. Andrew Alexander Zavaleta. Paxton Zier. Diego Alfredo Zuniga. Carmen Valeria Zuniga Montoya.
Are you supposed to do that? I was gonna, it would be you, but I was gonna announce you, but. Oh. Jonathan, right there. Okay, yeah. Rumor mill is there's some weather coming, so I'm going to go very quick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculty members, and most importantly, the class of 2023. Today is a day of celebration, a day of reflection, and a day of new beginnings. As we gather here to mark the end of your high school journey and the beginning of a new chapter in your lives, I stand before you with great pride and honor as your principal. It is my privilege to address this remarkable group of individuals who have shown dedication, resilience, and solid commitment to their education. I want to express my gratitude to all the parents, family members, and educators who have supported you along the way. Their encouragement, guidance, and love have played an instrumental role in your success. Take a moment to thank them for their endless support and celebrate this achievement together. Remember that you are capable, you are resilient, and you are ready. Believe in yourself, follow your passions, and never stop learning. Congratulations, graduates, the class of 2023. May your journey ahead be filled with joy, fulfillment, and endless possibilities. And always remember, it's better to be a Bobcat. Thank you. At this time, I welcome our Beaufort County School District Superintendent, Dr. Frank Rodriguez, to the podium. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, proud parents, relieved parents, and the exceptional graduating class of 2023. I find myself today in the unique position of not only addressing you as your proud superintendent, but also as a parent of a graduate of the class of 2023. On behalf of my wife, the parents and family members that are all here today, I wanna to thank the faculty, the administration, and the staff of Buford High School for the amazing work that you have done and the role you have played in preparing our students for the world beyond Bluffton High School. You are a remarkable group of students here today, and it is a great day to celebrate your accomplishments. Here at the Buford County School District, we are so very proud of each one of you. The world awaits you with much anticipation. Here at Bluffton High School, your faculty and administration have prepared you well for the world you will face outside of the halls and classrooms of your school. Today, we gather here on the precipice of a new era a time marked by incredible technological advancements that have the potential to reshape our world in profound ways. We stand shoulder to shoulder with those who have come before us, those who have harnessed the power of change to transform our lives for the better. Think back to the innovations that have shaped human history. Each of them have had the power to disrupt the status quo, challenging our beliefs and pushing us towards progress from the advent of electricity, the steam engine, and the automobile, to telephones, space flight, these breakthroughs reshape the fabric of our existence. Our lives have been touched by microwaves, the nuclear age, medical advances, television, personal computers, laptops, cell phones, and electric cars. We stand at the cusp of the era of self-driving cars in the ra rapidly evolving field of artificial intelligence, or AI. But here's what sets you apart. Throughout your educational journey, you have acquired a valuable tool, an unwavering commitment to critical thinking. You possess the ability to analyze, question, and challenge the world around you. This power gives you the capacity to be catalysts for change, to shape the future according to your dreams and your aspirations. However, as Uncle Ben so wisely reminded Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. You must approach the immense power of change with humility, foresight, and the ethical consideration. 
You must recognize that your actions, both big and small, can have far-reaching effects. And today I ask each and every one of you to go out into the world with a resolute purpose to make a difference. Use your critical thinking skills to envision a better future and embark on a journey to bring that vision to life. Embrace the challenges and the complexities that lie ahead, for it is through them that you will grow and discover your potential. May you be responsible stewards of change, leverage technology and innovation to uplift, empower, and unite. May you find solutions to the pressing issues that plague our world. And we have the power to reshape the world, to build bridges where there are challenges. Remember, change begins with each one of us. It starts with the choices we make and the impact we have on the lives of others. As you step out into the world, may you be guided not only by the desire for personal success, but also by a deep sense of responsibility towards the greater good. Class of 2023, today marks the beginning of your journey as change makers. Embrace the challenges, embrace the unknown, and embrace your own potential. May you build a world that is brighter and more compassionate. Congratulations, graduates. May your journey be filled with purpose, fulfillment, and the unwavering commitment to change the world for the better. Congratulations, class of 2023, and thank you. At this time, please stand. I certify that the students and graduates that are here before me today have met all of the requirements for graduation of the state of South Carolina. Students, congratulations. Graduates, you may turn your tassel. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the playing of our alma mater whose lyrics can be found in tonight's program. This will be immediately followed by the recessional of the class of 2023.